Hey, you might have used decorators in Python. Decorators help write cleaner, more efficient, and more maintainable code. Let's explore some awesome decorators. First up, abstract method and abstract properties using property and abstract method decorator. These are lifesavers when working with abstract classes. They ensure that subclasses implement certain methods, enforcing a structure in your code. This is super useful when designing frameworks or APIs where consistency is key. In this example, if a class inherits from animal, it must implement make sound and species methods. This prevents accidental omissions and ensures every subclass has the required methods and properties. Want to ensure cleanup before your script exits? At exit.register decorator lets you register a function that runs when your program ends. Useful for closing files, saving logs, or releasing resources. When the script ends, cleaning up before exit gets printed. No more forgotten cleanup tasks. Now, FunkTools has some absolute gems. If you have an expensive function that gets called with the same arguments multiple times, LRU Cache Decorator can save time by caching results. Great for performance optimization when dealing with repetitive computations. Ever needed one function to handle multiple data types differently? Single Dispatch Decorator allows you to write cleaner, type-specific logic. This keeps function logic organized and easy to extend. If you're writing decorators, Wraps Decorator preserves function metadata, like Dunder name and Dunder doc, preventing weird debugging issues. In this example, without Wraps Decorator, say hello.dunder name would return wrapper, which could cause issues in introspection or debugging. Next, these two are commonly used but often misunderstood. Static method decorator is used when a method doesn't need access to the instance or the class. Class method decorator is used when a method needs access to the class itself, but not an instance. And the last one, unit test.mock.patch. This is a game changer for testing. It lets you replace objects with mocks, so you don't hit APIs or databases in your tests. In our example, fetch underscore data function always returns mocked, making tests reliable and fast. And that's it. There's a lot, but I found them interesting, so I put them in the list. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you found this useful, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.